Okay, so my good friend Greg Deckler has been doing this incredibly comprehensive roundup for the last few months of Power BI theme generators. And I was watching the most recent installment on his YouTube channel today at lunchtime. And as I was watching, I was thinking, you know, I think Claude 3.7 is the best theme generator out there. So consider this video my official entry into the, um, the theme generation review contest. So I want to show you what I did and I want to talk about kind of what what Greg looks at. So he he looks at a whole range of factors including ease of use, whether the JSON file is formatted properly, obviously does the does the the application work, how easy is it to pick colors, um, does it have a preview mode, is it easy to upload information? Is it easy to save information and then load it into Power BI? How comprehensive is it? Can you edit the um, the theme online? And so what I did is I first I wanted to, before I I just threw Claude into the into the mix here. I wanted to download some information to augment its knowledge base. And so, as I mentioned yesterday, you know, when you work with an AI model, you have to be cognizant of its knowledge cutoff. And so, um, Claude 3.7 has a knowledge cutoff of October 2024, and there's been some additional updates to the, the Power BI schema since then. So, I wanted to make sure that I, I downloaded that information and put that into, into Claude's knowledge base. And one of the things I love about Claude 3.7 is you can train it using the, the the large reasoning models on custom data. And so what I did is I went to the, the Microsoft site and it has an article about the, the JSON schema for the theme files. But what they've done is they, um, they implement something called cross-origin resource sharing restrictions, which is something that people do on websites i don't know a lot about it but it's something they do on websites to keep you from scraping the information so i went back to claude and i said hey i'm not able to scrape this can you write me a python script that beats this core's restrictions and on the first try it, it pounded out this um this python script and and then i put that into i put that in the positron and ran it and it scraped the file immediately so score another one for Claude there. And so what I did is I just put that the sample theme from that page into a into an HTML file and uploaded that to the knowledge base. And then I just um, took the whole page and converted that to HTML using the scraper and put that into the, the knowledge base. So I'm all prepped and ready to go. So what I what I thought we could do is what I like to do is instead of picking my own colors or entering in hex codes, I like to take something that I like and use that as the basis for my theme. I'm not good at theme development. And so NJ Park is one of, I think, by far the best designers and report developers for Power BI. And he's got a great aesthetic sense. And so I, I thought I'd use one of his, his reports. And he made these, these SVG cards. So let's take a screenshot of his and use that as the basis for our, our entry of hex codes. And we'll do that and then we'll go to the Claude project and we can just paste that in. And you see that'll just enter down here in the, the additional information. And then, you know, I just, I just, rather than watching me type out a long prompt, I, I saved that in the clipboard, and let me find that. Yeah, so here it is, and we'll just walk through it real, real briefly. So basically, what I said is build a comprehensive theme around the colors of the attached screenshot, but instead of using these exact colors, generate the neon versions of each. I wanted to throw it a little bit harder task, and then I said make the rest of the colors attractive, complementary ones that also do not present any accessibility problems for individuals with different kinds of color blindness. I think it's really important when you build a report and a theme to make sure that it's as accessible as possible. And um, I know for men, I think it's one in eight uh, have color blindness problems. So if you're sitting in a conference room full of people, 
chances are that the, at least one of them has got some sort of impairment um, in terms of visual comprehension of data of data with different colors and so this is one really simple way by putting this in the prompt that you can ensure your your reports are accessible and i'm not sure that any of the other the other theme generators have this built in um, and what i said is exported to a comprehensive power bi color theme covering all the native visual power bi the types and then make sure the visual theme follows the exact same structure as the theme in the knowledge base. This is just to make sure that it's using the the proper schema because I think the schema changed in November. And so if Claude was kind of at its core knowledge cutoff, it would probably create a theme that wouldn't work initially. And then I said, let's provide an, an interactive mock-up showing what a dashboard developed using this color theme would look like. And then finally, create an HTML file with color swatches of all the colors in the final themes along with their hex codes and RGB codes. This is just something I like to have. I like to save so that if I'm using a theme, I can very quickly call it up and see exactly what colors are in it, what they look like. So let's, um, let's fire this up and see how Claude does. So we just hit return. And one of the things I love about Claude is, oh, wait, actually, let's stop this. Because what I want to do, this is something I want to show you, is let's um, let's start this over. And let's go to projects. Because the thing about Claude, and I, I sometimes forget this when I'm when I'm running it, is it's a hybrid model. And so you've got normal and then you've got extended mode. And extended mode has additional thinking. And so if we go back and we paste the, the information. I always like to run, when I'm running something really important, I like to run it in extended mode. And so let's, let's go back and paste that prompt in. Okay, so now we're all set and we've got it in extended mode. And let's, let's get it started. And one of the things I like so much about Claude is you'll see that it, you know, it's thinking and what you can do is you can expand its thinking and it'll show you exactly you know what it's what it's thinking about it'll show you kind of intermediate products and then what it, what it'll do is when it gets to a certain point it's going to bust into the yeah right here into the the artifacts uh, generator and so it'll actually type out the code and in the case of the dashboard it'll render the dashboard in react it'll show you what it looks like it'll um it'll render the the HTML file with the color swatches and show you what that looks like. And so it does a really nice job as it, as it goes through this of creating these individual files and you know what it thinks of as deliverables. And then you can always go back and pull up any deliverable you can download it, you can modify it. And so here we are, it's, it's, it's hammering away at the, um, at the dashboard and it'll tell you kind of at the top here what what deliverable you're at and you can you can also kind of follow along in the um in the explanation so there's there's a lot going on but i actually find it kind of hypnotic to watch you, at this point you could just go grab a snack and and come back and i may on the on the video i may just speed this up because i'm not sure it's it's that instructive to watch it just crank code for a while but all right so here we go so it's finished the dashboard and now it's it's in the color swatches, and this should this should generate relatively quickly. As I say, I like this just because it's for the themes I use a lot. It's really nice to have this as a as a handy reference, and you can you can share this out. You can pass it along. You can show you know, if you're working with clients, you can show them a series of pages with different themes, and you know get input on those. So this should be this should be done in a minute or two. Um, just cranking through that that code. And what you can always do is you can always go back and you can edit these in the sense that I just do it. There we go. I, okay, so it's neon blue, neon teal, neon light cyan. It's got the the complementary colors, the structural colors. Um, and it should, okay, yeah, optimize for accessibility. So it, it makes reference to the, the accessibility and the contrast. 
And as I say, what you can do is you can always go back and um, and have it say, okay, I you know I don't like you know this color green for per se. So let's substitute something else in there. And what what I found is that it's almost like talking to a developer, you know, on the phone. That you know it's really interactive, and you, you can you can see the results pop up right as you as you request them. So at this point, let's go. Let's take a look at the at the dashboard mock-up and I think that looks fantastic and you can you can kind of see you know this is just kind of a simple a simple mock-up but it's it's actually got you know it's actually got some interactivity to it and we can shrink this down a little bit so maybe we can see the whole thing and you know we can take some months off here and it updates dynamically and you can really see the promise that this has in terms of you know developing really, really complex reports and detailed reports from just simple voice prompts. Um, but this is this is more just as a mock-up to, to test the theme. Okay, so the last thing we want to do is we want to take a look in, at this theme and let's download it. And then let's go into Power BI. And let's, I think I've got this set for, let's just pick a, pick a random theme here. And then let's go into um, Browse for Themes. And if we go to the Downloads, we should see the Neon Theme. Here we have a Neon Theme JSON. And that reads in perfectly. And you can see that um, if we go to here and then look at the at the bar colors, it should give us the ability to drop down and see the entire color theme. And so there we go. That's exactly what we asked for. Neon neon theme with these these primary colors, complementary colors, optimized for accessibility. So. I'll have to see what Greg thinks in terms of his his official scoring, but I think this is I think this one's a winner. And as I say, it took me it took me just a few minutes prep to get the Claude project ready. I will upload the files for this to my GitHub, and so you can you can pull down the sample files, you can see the prompt, and you can just basically run this run this now from a single prompt and have it create all this almost effortlessly. So. I hope you found that helpful. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.